This Week in Wildlife, divers rescue a dusky shark, we say goodbye to giant earwigs, the angry birds help conservation, and some very, very naughty fur seals. Get these stories and more in your two-minute roundup of nature news. An updated assessment from the IUCN has found over 22,000 animals to be threatened with extinction. And it's not just exotics. The overexploited Pacific bluefin tuna even swam its way onto the list. In more IUCN news, it's official. The St. Helena giant earwig has gone extinct. The species, endemic to the tropical island after which it's named, has disappeared forever thanks to habitat loss and pressure from introduced predators. Heading further south for this week's weirdest, fur seals near Marion Island have been caught in the act of molesting king penguins. This isn't a new phenomenon, but researchers now speculate that it may result from sexual frustration when the dominant male takes over breeding rights. Sticking with marine life, 30 years ago, Florida had a lot of lionfish in aquariums. Now, the pesky invaders have taken over. This video from Coast Watch Alliance, a group trying to round up the unwanted visitors, shows just how big the problem is. From lionfish to sharks, and one heck of a feel-good story from the Bahamas. The crew of Epic Diving rescued an emaciated dusky shark that had a rope tightly wrapped around its gills. A month after the release, the shark showed up with a healing wound and a healthy weight. Cornell University has announced the discovery of a virus they believe causes sea star wasting syndrome. Let's hope the discovery brings researchers closer to understanding the illness and where it's headed next. Still in the States, scientists are investigating the sudden decline of Texas's official sea turtle, the Kemp's Ridley. The drop in numbers may indicate oil spill pollution is still badly affecting the Gulf of Mexico ecosystem. And if you want to help save endangered species, well, here's a new way to pitch in. Playing Angry Birds. The popular game is rolling out a pangolin-filled tournament to help raise awareness for the plight of these animals. The tournament will run from November 17th to 23rd. We're wrapping up with larvae that glow in the dark, then eat you. If you're an insect, that is. Wildlife photographer Jeff Creamer was traipsing through the Peruvian rainforest when he noticed some glowing green dots scattered in the dirt. Turns out, they're beetle larvae. That's it for this week, but we've got a ton of great stories waiting for you on the website, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next week.